Welcome to the Trauma Count, where we tally up the childhood trauma in all our favorite horror movies. I'm Lacey Loves Horror, and today we're looking at birthdays. Just kidding. This is just a list of birthday scenes in horror films, but so many of them involve childhood trauma. It honestly could just be a trauma list. But because it's my birthday, We are doing birthday scenes. Some of these are from regular horror films that happen to feature a birthday scene or birthday centered horror films. When children are in horror movies, there's bound to be trauma. Let's find out what scenes sent kids to the therapist and get to them. If Damien wasn't the Antichrist, he would have been extremely traumatized on his fifth birthday. But since he's born of a jackal, with the mark of the beast, this is just another Sunday night for our boy Damien. His very wealthy parents are having a very wealthy party and their very wealthy guests and their children with no trauma yet get to watch his nanny hang herself off of the very wealthy balcony. She also declares her devotion to Damien and I guess her sacrifice is her birthday gift. Better than socks, I guess. Actually, I really like socks, so never mind. After finally defeating Tombs and making it to the end of her never-ending birthday without Carter dying as well, they share a really cute scene right out of Sixteen Candles, and she finally eats the cupcake her roommate Lori made her after blowing out the candle. Then she wakes up again on her birthday because the cake was a lie and Lori poisoned her. Dude, I would have eaten that stupid cupcake so many times. I also could have chosen any scene from this film, but I kind of like the false ending and the sort of twist. When your friends all start dying and you're having lapses in memory, you start to pray that you aren't the killer. When your dad surprises you by actually being home for your birthday, he finds all your dead friends and the dug up body of your mother all sitting at the dinner table with a birthday cake he starts to think you're the killer. Nope. It's your love child half-sister pretending to be you. Surprise. I'm not a mom, but I can imagine throwing your child a birthday party is stressful. Trying to do so while also hiding their dad's recently deceased body is kind of on another level. Then when the giant panda goes face first into the cake, it's safe to say that you failed at both. That kid's birthday gifts probably should come with a therapist every year after this. So much trauma for one and all. I'm not gonna lie, this scene made my heart leap up into my throat on first viewing. And I know this film is despised by the world, but I've always had a soft spot for alien films. A surprise alien at your birthday party either is or isn't something you would want to have happen. As far as trauma goes, it's one that's shared with everyone as it's broadcasted on the news. Joaquin Phoenix's reaction is pretty much the same as mine, but I knew I was watching fiction. Maybe this one deserves a rewatch after recent world news. As the movie progresses, you see Rose, our main protagonist, slowly become increasingly affected by this mild entity. She has blackouts and her cat goes missing. Predictably, when she comes to her nephew's birthday party, she has a nicely wrapped gift for him. When he opens it, he gets a nice dose of childhood trauma in the form of a bloody cat carcass. Tommy will always remember his 10th birthday. He has a crappy clown come, and he and his friends bully him before incidentally causing his death. Basically twice, because he stands back up with a knife through his eye, pulls it out and almost attacks Tommy before slipping in his blood and impaling himself in the eye again, ending him for now. Courtney, after surviving the first film and after convincing herself that the guitar drill wielding killer she's been seeing was just a dream, starts to sleep with her crush after he gives her a cake for her birthday. But the killer is really back, and this is where he proves it. 
Heather, the main protagonist of this film, taken straight from the Silent Hill 3 game, starts to get morbid hallucinations as the famous town of Silent Hill draws her home. One of these visions happens on her birthday at a mall where a group of kids are celebrating the birthday of a girl who was apparently also named Heather. Soon, the balloons change to say Alessa, and the kids look like they're eating all sorts of carnage. While Andy's entire childhood was traumatic, you have to remember that Chucky was originally a birthday present. And the same day he got him, Chucky killed his mom's best friend with a hammer attack that causes her to fall out the window to her death, and then Andy is blamed. And that's only the beginning for the reigning king of childhood trauma. What did you guys think? Any awful birthday scenes from horror films that I missed? Any awful birthday scenes from non-horror films that deserve a spot on this list? Let me know below. Like, subscribe, follow, everything. I really like to have people watching my content. Thank you for watching. Bye, my horror loves.